This is Andy Purawal for Boxing Social in association with Betfred and I'm joined by Rebecca Ainsco over Zoom. Rebecca, how are you doing? I'm good, thanks. Good stuff. Very good. Um, obviously, getting ready now for your professional boxing debut. Uh, how does it feel? Super excited. Feels good. Been how, waiting a long time. How do you sum up your camp at you know, your first full professional boxing camp? Um, went great, <laughs> went really well. Obviously, it had ups and downs, every camp does. <laughs> uh, moving into this, um, talk to me about kind of your, your background. I know you started out in MMA, uh, so talk to me about kind of a decision behind moving away from MMA and coming into boxing. The decision, why, yeah, um, so. Last year, I broke my leg <laughs> in Thailand. Um, so that was a little, that, that sort of pointed me in the direction for the starter. That was a big, big thing. But um, I already loved boxing. That was the first thing I went into, to be honest. And um, I just sort of got drifted away from it. So I feel like everything just led me back to it in the end. And then the girls, it was taken off at the time with the, with the women. So it was just a no brainer. It's like stop fighting or move to boxing. So, yeah. <laughs> what would you say are the biggest differences then between the MMA training and boxing training? Um, less injuries. <laughs> Definitely less injuries. Um, and obviously, the MMA, you get more, you, 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 there's more um, disciplines. So, there's a lot more to think about and a lot more to keep folks like practicing. Um, not as many with boxing. Was it difficult to move away from MMA then because of your injury or was it not as bad because you knew you were still staying involved in sport in some way with boxing now? Yeah, it was hard. Um, but yeah, it's, it's still sports for me. So I, I'm just glad I can still I can still compete and um, still train every day and do what I love. So yeah, but yeah, obviously at first it was hard. So obviously coming into boxing now, what are your ambitions? What are you hoping to achieve? What do you believe you can achieve? So um, obviously I'm brand new to the sport. Although I've come from mixed martial arts, it's I had to change a lot about me myself and. Um, there was there was a lot of little habits and that I've, I've had to change. So I know I'm, I'm I'm a baby in this sport, but I do want to go all the way. That that's that's the goal. I do want to go to the top. Like now, you mentioned going to the top. I mean, the, the woman currently at the top in, in the lightweight division is Katie Taylor. So, you know, but upon your route towards that, how long have do you think it could take for you to reach that stage if you were to? Um. Honestly, I really don't know, <laughs> but I'm, I'm moving quickly. That, that's all I know. I'm moving quickly and um, I, haven't, I haven't got the amateur background everyone's looking for, but um, people, people will just see our, our fights. That I, I don't need it. Obviously, women's boxing of a minute is thriving, Rebecca. So how excited are you to join that and to hopefully make your own kind of impact on the sport yourself? Yeah, that's that's what's super exciting about, about boxing. How, how many women are uh, are in it going into it now? It's it's exciting. Um even like getting loads of sparring and sparring some great amateurs and that it's just it's what it's all about. It's just great at the moment. So so yeah. with, with yourself when obviously you are in the ring come this weekend, how how would you sum up your boxing style? What should everybody expect to see from you when you are um, in there? Um, do you know what? I don't even. It's it's different. <laughs> it's different. It's 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 not your your usual. So I hope to entertain. I hope to um show off all the skills that I've learned over the years. Um. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit more, it's exciting. 
do you think we'll see an aggressive approach from you, somebody who will come to, to look to win by stoppage whenever you enter the ring or more of kind of a, a boxing skill, skillful show for everybody who does tune in? Hopefully, hopefully. I, I can hopefully want to do, do both, to be honest. <laughs> I hope, I hope to, to show that I can do both and control, control um, what I'm doing. That's, that's the, the goal. And just finally, just talking about your opponent uh, for tomorrow night. What what do you know about her? Um, not much, <laughs> not much. I've seen a couple couple of her fights. She's tall. That that's about it. <laughs> no, no kind of idea as to how you think stylistically you might match her. Stylistically, um, it's pro it's probably a odd match for. I know that I want to get, get inside and, yeah, I know, know what I need to do. I know what I've been working on. Right, Rebecca, <laughs> we will leave that there then and I'll leave you to enjoy the rest of your day. I appreciate your time. Thank you for speaking to Boxing Social. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs>